Hello students, in the previous session we introduced ourselves to the chapter probability. In this session we shall study about event, occurrence of an event and types of events. To begin with let us study what is an event. We have studied about random experiment and sample space associated with an experiment. The sample space serves as an universal set for all questions concerned with the experiment. Consider the experiment of tossing a coin two times. An associated sample space is S is equal to H H comma H T comma T H comma T T. Now suppose that we are interested in those outcomes which correspond to the occurrence of exactly one head. We find that H T and T H are the only elements of S corresponding to the occurrence of this happening that is event. These two elements form the set E is equal to H T comma T H. We know that the set E is a subset of the sample space S. Similarly, we find the following correspondence between events and subsets of S. Look at this, we have description of the event and the corresponding subset of the sample space S. Number of tails is exactly 2. A is equal to T T. For number of tails is at least 1, B is equal to H T, T H or T T. Number of heads is at most 1, C is equal to H T, T H, T T. Second toss is not head. So, corresponding subset is D is equal to H T comma T T. Number of tails is at most 2. So, S is equal to H H, H T, T H and T T. Number of tails is more than 2 is obviously phi, an empty set. This discussion suggests that a subset of sample space is associated with an event and an event is associated with a subset of sample space. In the light of this, event can be defined as follows. Any subset E of a sample space S is called an event. Now let us understand what you mean by occurrence of an event. Consider the experiment of throwing a die. Let E denote the event. A number less than 4 appears. If actually 1 has appeared on the die, then we say that even E has occurred. As a matter of fact, if outcomes are 2 or 3, we say that event E has occurred. Thus, the event E of the sample space S is said to have occurred if the outcome omega of the experiment is such that omega belongs to E. If the outcome omega is such that omega does not belong to E, we say that the event E has not occurred. Now let us discuss types of events. Events can be classified into various types on the basis of the elements they have. Now, let us discuss about impossible and sure events. The empty set phi and the sample space S describe events. In fact, phi is called an impossible event and S that is the whole space is called sure event. To understand these, let us consider the experiment of rolling a die. The associated sample space is S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let E be the event, the number 
appears on the die is a multiple of 7. Can you write the subset associated with the event E? Clearly, no outcome satisfies the condition given in the event that is no element of the sample space ensures the occurrence of the event E. Thus, we can say that the empty set only corresponds to the event E. In other words, we can say that it is impossible to have a multiple of 7 on the upper face of the die. Thus, the event E is equal to phi is an impossible event. Now, let us take up another event f. The number turns up is odd or even. Clearly, f is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 that is equal to s. That is, all outcomes of the experiment ensure the occurrence of the event f. Thus, the event f is equal to s is a sure event. Now, look at the simple event. If an event E has only one sample point of a sample space, it is called a simple or elementary event. In a sample space containing n distinct elements, there are exactly n simple events. For example, in the experiment of tossing two coins, a sample space is S is equal to HH, HT, TH, TT. There are four simple events corresponding to this sample space. These are E1 is equal to HH, E2 is equal to HT, E3 is equal to TH and E4 is equal to TT. Now, let us see what do you mean by a compound event. If an event has more than one sample point, then it is called a compound event. For example, in the experiment of tossing a coin thrice, the events E exactly one head appeared, F at least one head appeared, G at most one head appeared etcetera are all compound events. The subsets of S associated with these events are E H T T comma T H T comma T T H whereas F will be H T T comma T H T comma T T H comma H H T comma H T H comma T H H comma H H H and set G will be T T T comma T H T comma H T T comma T T H. Each of the above subsets contain more than one sample point. Hence, they are all compound events. Now, let us discuss the algebra of events. In the chapter on sets, we have studied about different ways of combining two or more sets like union, intersection, difference, complement of a set, etc. Likewise, we can combine two or more events by using the analogous set notations. Let a comma b comma c be events associated with an experiment whose sample space is s let us see what are complementary events for every event a there corresponds another event a dash called the complementary event to a it is also called the event not a for example Take the experiment of tossing three coins. An associated sample space is S is equal to H H H comma H H T comma 
H T H comma T H H comma H T T comma T H T comma T T H comma T T T. Here let A be equal to H T H comma H H T comma T H H be the event only one tail appears. Clearly, for the outcome H T T, the event A has not occurred, but we may say that the event not A has occurred. Here you can see complement of an event. The unshaded portion represents the event E and the shaded portion represents E complement or not E. Thus, with every outcome which is not in A, we say that not A occurs. Thus, the complementary event not A to the event A is A dash is equal to H H H comma H T T comma T H T comma T T H comma T T T or A dash is equal to omega such that omega belongs to S and omega does not belong to A that is equal to S minus A. Now, let us see what is the event A or B. Now, let us see the event A or B. Recall that union of two sets A and B denoted by A union B contains all those elements which are either in A or in B or in both. When the sets A and B are two events associated with a sample space, then A union B is the event either A or B or both. The event A union B is also called A or B. So, students in this session we discussed about events, occurrence of events and types of events. We shall discuss about the algebra of events in the next session. Thank you. Thank you.